Hello everyone, Scottish Laddie and welcome back to Scottish Lads Darts channel. Today's video is a bit different to what I usually do because I usually do reviews and kind of other stuff like that. But today's review I'm going to give you my personal thoughts and personal opinions on playing in a darts league. As you guys possibly know if you follow me on my socials, I am playing in the Air Darts League which is obviously up here in Scotland. I play in the Black Bull B team so if you're ever in here, pop into the Black Bull, there's a board upstairs, two boards downstairs if you want to have a wee chuck. Personally, I love playing in the Darts League. It's just great for meeting new people and obviously developing your game if that's what you want to do. I mean, playing at home is one thing, but you're not going to get the experience of playing in a prof well, not professional, in a competitive game, doing that in your home. So get yourselves out and join a Darts League, obviously, if you can. My game has come on leaps and bounds from I started playing in the darts league. Obviously, I've been playing for about six, seven years, but I've never took it to like obviously the darts league. I've always just played at home. I was a home-based player, but obviously last season I joined as uh, the Ship Inn, which was also in here's now shut down, and we moved to the Black Bull. I noticed for the first kind of few weeks I was nervous. I wasn't playing very well. But that was just first time nerves of playing on a team that I've never obviously played with, playing a div against different teams who obviously have some cracking players. But personally for me, the best thing about playing in the Darts League is the camera. Like the, the, the fun you have with it, the people you meet and the social aspect of it more than that as you're playing the game of darts. Personally, I've made some great friends through the Darts League, I've made some good connections within the Darts League and obviously I've made leaps and bounds and the development of my game. I'm hoping it gets better and better. We had well, our first game for the, a cup tournament before the league actually starts in the, on the 3rd of October and I played half decent, I have to say it was quite half decent but I won my game 2-0. My team won overall 7-4. We now move on to possibly the best team in the league, the High Society based in Maybowl. So if you're in Maybowl Take yourselves into the High Society and have a look. Jim McEwen also plays for the High Society, so we have got a very hard game next week, unfortunately. But I'm sure we'll press on. But personally, if you want to develop your game to the extent where you want to improve, you want to meet people, the social acts, that aspect of it, and these days it gets you closer into these things like the ADC and stuff like that as well, there's plenty of that going around all over Britain, so if you want to kind of look into that, then look into it. But, as I say, it's great for boosting your confidence. I know a lot of people don't want to go to these things due to confidence. I first started the league, even before I started playing in the league, I just kind of went to the Anchor Bar, which is also in air. If you want to go in and have a wee look, it's an old-fashioned man's pub, an old man's pub, let's just say. But it has got two, ta two dartboards. And at first I was really, really nervous about even going into the pub. I didn't even want to go in. But I made myself in, got myself playing. First, as I said earlier, first few weeks I played utter garbage. Barely hit the board. But the more I went in, the more confidence gained, the more people I met, the more they gave me tips on how to improve as well. That is another thing. Obviously, thrown in the house, you might notice these wee issues yourself or even going to a darts coach like Dynamite Dave and stuff, they can point it out. But there's nothing more than someone who is in the pub when you're playing darts and obviously they pick up on a little thing you can change. You can change that on the spot or you can work on it. That's what I did pretty much for the first few months of my darts career playing in pubs. I just worked on my throw within a small group of people. Then I joined a darts team, which obviously is my aspect. That's what I wanted to do is join a darts team and have a night out every week with the boys and kind of play darts, just enjoy myself. So that's what I did, I went and done that and now playing some half decent stuff sometimes, obviously we all have our off nights when it comes to darts, but I played really well last night as I said. But let me know your thoughts on playing in a darts league, if you play in one or if you're aspiring to play in one, if you're building up your confidence to get yourself out there, I wouldn't recommend it enough in getting yourself out there and actually playing in one of these leagues because your game will come on leaps and bounds. You'll meet some great people. Obviously, there is going to be some assholes out there when 
playing in some of the leagues, but I haven't found that as such in the Air Darts League up here in Scotland. So if any of you are in the Ayrshire area and you're looking for teams to join, there's a Facebook group on, obviously, Facebook called Air Darts League. You can get in there and you can get involved with some of the teams revolving around Air and obviously Presswick because there's a couple of teams based in Presswick. But as I say, just to wrap it up, the best thing about playing in the Darts League is it boosts your confidence. You notice yourself getting better and better and then there's a the camaraderie of being in a team and supporting your teammates and they support you and they give the tips on how to get better and you give them tips on how to get better. It's an all-round helpful thing for the development of your game. So if you want to get involved in a darts league, go for it. And if you need any help on kind of how to push yourself there, message me on my socials. I'm happy to give you what I think and some advice towards it. But thanks everybody for tuning in and hopefully watching this video. My thoughts on joining a darts league and my thoughts on a darts league. But stay safe out there everybody, and of course, keep on darting.